What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm going to be paying people to design my own signature sneaker. I'm a designer, I'm a sneaker enthusiast, a sneaker head even if you'd like to call it that. And as someone who loves sneakers, and I'm sure every other sneaker head in the world would agree, having a signature sneaker is kind of like the ultimate dream. So today, or probably over the next week, I'm going to make that dream happen. Now, like I mentioned, I'm a product designer myself, I even did it professionally before YouTube, and even on YouTube, I do videos where I sketch and design sneakers, but I felt like it would be a lot more fun if I had a couple different people design their own interpretation of this shoe. So the way I'm going to go about doing Doing this is using the website Fiverr not sponsored. Fiverr is a place that you can pay creative people ridiculously low amounts of money to do things that you either don't have the skill set to do or are just too lazy to do yourself. Obviously this wasn't the first time that this sort of video has been done. I was actually inspired by one of my favorite channels, Draw With Jazza, where he did a pretty similar video except with a different subject matter. I'll link his video in the description below because honestly it's probably better than this one. But before I actually go on Fiverr and tell people to design my own sneaker for me, I want to give them some sort of idea of what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is actually sketch out a quick low top basketball sneaker something sort of generic so that they can play with it and create their own sort of concepts over top of it now this obviously isn't gonna be my signature sneaker or even how I'd want my signature shoe to look but I wanted to give them something that's pretty simple and clean and easy to mess with so I've sketched out the super rough outline and now that I'm looking at it it kind of looks like a Kobe but I kind of don't want people to be weirded out by this sketch because it kind of looks like a designer's sketch because it's got the sort of tails at the end of the lines and things like that so I'm gonna trace over it with a very bold line and try and make it look like it's just some sort of quick napkin sketch so that in their head they're not afraid to look at the sketch and be like "Ugh, this sucks I want to design my own sneaker over top of this so now we've got the concept art for my signature sneaker and uh, I do want to keep this somewhat anonymous so I created a brand new Yahoo email called Ben Doge um, I know that's not the most original thing in the world and it's a meme from like five years ago but uh I'm not very creative so now it's time to head on over to Fiverr and find some people to design my new signature shoe so here we are on Fiverr.com. Obviously, I have uh, done some searching already. As you can see, there's recently viewed. And also, you can see that um, I wasn't lying about my username. I know it sucks. So on Fiverr, you can find a lot of pretty interesting stuff. There's a lot of 3D modeling, um, some animation. Let's see what else we got. We got graphic design, digital marketing, music, audio, blah, blah, blah. But obviously, what I'm interested in is sneaker design. So what I'm going to do to find the best sneaker designers is type in sneaker. I feel like that's probably the most obvious way to go about doing this. So here are the search results for sneaker. We've got, I will design a professional creative sneakers logo. Very nice. We've got, I can CAD your footwear specification tech pack. That's actually pretty cool, but it's 200 bucks. So I can't really afford that. Um, I will bring your fashion concept sketch to life. $80. Let's check it out. I will bring your fashion concept sketch to life. Very nice. 80 bucks, source file, background scene, one rendering. Four days delivery, one revision. Okay, apparently the same guy reviewed him twice, um, but that's cool. Means that he apparently did a good job for somebody. The next one we have is, I will design footwear product, include upper insole and outsole for 30 bucks. That's crazy, I wonder if that's what they're paying Tinker. Okay, I think this one might be a winner, honestly. I will create your own sneaker model. It's 25 bucks. I think I'm gonna go for it. The seller needs the following information to start working on your order. Any specials such as high, mid, or low sneakers, anything else will be part of the design process, and don't worry about revisions, we'll find a solution that fits your desires. Okay. I'm gonna just include a picture of my sketch just to be safe, just to make sure that he has all the information that he needs to make this happen. Don't be afraid to experiment. Experiment and play with the design. I'm very open to any and all suggestions. First one done, that was easy enough, but now I wanna pick one that I think actually might turn out really well, and especially for 30 bucks, and looking at this image, I mean honestly, for 30 bucks, and you get all this, done. Buying, please design a low top. Feel free to experiment with the design. Literally nothing is off limits. Make it as crazy as you would like. Okay, and let's do one more. So far I've spent what? About like 56 bucks. Okay, let's do like one or two more because I really wanna have a couple different options. $15 and he'll create all of this goodness. That's nuts. 15 bucks, I will create a shoe design without color. Standard 
Pro sketches, shoes with color options and one background type, three day delivery, three revisions, and premium package, $100. Pro design sketches with color and background, three types, side view, top view, rear view. I don't know if I need all that. I think I'm gonna go with the standard. 60 bucks is not bad, especially for like the level of quality that I'm seeing with this guy. And this one, I'm just gonna tell this guy to be free. I'm just gonna be like, yo, do your thing. You know what? I'm literally just gonna type that. Do your thing. Um, let's find one that's not too crazy expensive because I'm not balling like that. Um, I will rubbish my sneakers. What does that mean? In many containers, there is a lot of dirt and food. I will take my sneakers through it and put it, oh. Will knock out my sneaker and get through the dirt in the shoe remains in it for a day. After a day, a day goes out again and I take pictures of my sneakers and socks. I have no idea what this guy wants, but I'm going for it. You're getting it, guy. It's possible I'm paying this guy five bucks to run through some mud and take pictures of it. Um, which dirt do you prefer? <laughs> How long do you want me to wear the shoes? The dirtiest. And I trust your opinion. Okay. Okay, for real though, I am gonna order another sneaker design. Um, I will make shoe designs for you. Uh, and his images that he's showing on his profile are actually pretty solid. I think he might have stolen that midsole off another sneaker, but it is what it is. Oh, whoa, he has different options. Extra fast delivery, additional revision, additional renderings, extra colorways. Let's just go with the standard. One image, that's all I need. A low top basketball sneaker. Go crazy with it. That's good enough for me. Oh, do I really have to add the business name and logo? I do have to add the business name and logo. Ugh. I'm just gonna type in Ben, 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 stop it. What should my logo be? I can't, I, how can I not think of a logo? Um, Ben Doge, that is, this is the laziest way to do it. I'm screenshotting uh, some text and then I'm gonna upload that as the, as the file. Okay, here we go. Start order. That's it. We've got four orders in the works. So I'm back about a week later. It actually took a lot less time for these projects to come in. It took like maybe five days total and it's been probably eight days since I first recorded that video. I was procrastinating a little bit, but now we're back and we've got all five of the projects in my inbox. So let's check them out and see what we've got. So the first one that I want to check out is create your own sneaker model. I did have some back and forth with this guy. He sent me some rough sketches first and then I didn't know what to say. So I was like, just add color. And he did. Um, so now we have them. So let's take a look at the rough sketches first. Um, this one, uh, it looks very similar to the sketch in his profile, so I don't know what I was expecting. But he did add the, uh, I guess the swoopy line on the side and the tread. So in that way, it is different. I appreciate the time and effort he put into this. Uh, it's not exactly what I'm looking for, but again, I don't know what I was expecting. The other option that he sent was a little bit better and actually looked more like a wearable shoe, which I appreciated. Um, it's actually pretty similar to the sketch that I sent. I mean, it's obviously a little bit bulkier in the midsection and the ankle area. Uh, I don't think would fit a human foot, but you know what? It's closer to what I wanted. It's not like a, a terrible sketch, so I'm happy with how it came out. And this is the one that I actually asked him to add color to. So I have yet to see the colored sketch because I kind of wanted to keep some element of surprise. So uh, why don't we check it out? It's a shoe. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm being a dick. I shouldn't be doing that. It's not bad. It definitely has a unique art style to it, and I think this could possibly be his intent. I think he could be going for more of an artistically uh, rendered sneaker than something that could actually be sent to a factory to be produced, which, you know, at the end of the day, he's successful. He did a good job. I don't love the colorway. I feel like it's a little bit muddy, but it's not a bad look overall. Um, I'm also not a huge fan of white outsoles because they get dirty very quickly, so I probably wouldn't have done that myself. Now, I did say in the instructions he could do whatever he wanted, and that's exactly what he did, so I gotta credit him for that. Literally nothing about this um, was false. Like, everything he said that he was gonna do and all the images that he showed were exactly what we got. So I am pretty happy with what I got knowing what I was going to get, if that makes sense. It's definitely uh, like an emoji type of sneaker, which 
Actually, that'd be kind of cool for Twitch. So stay on the lookout, Twitch. This might be coming as one of the subscriber emotes. But now I want to check out the one that I ordered immediately after that, and that was the one with the yellow background. And it was, I will design footwear product, include upper and insole, etc. She did actually send some initial concepts, which I appreciated because it gave me a good idea of what was coming. So this was the first sketch, which honestly reminded me a lot of something. And I wasn't totally sure, but I, I didn't want to look it up yet. And the other one kind of just looks like a dress shoe with a, uh, an Air Jordan 6 midsole. It's an interesting combination. It doesn't really look anything like the shoe that I sent over, but to be fair, I did say do whatever you want and play with it and have fun with it. So that's exactly what she did. I did pick the first one though, because I just felt like it was a lot closer to what I wanted. To be fair, the more I looked at it, the more I realized this looks a lot like an Adidas sneaker. So I'm gonna check out the final because I haven't done that yet and uh, see how similar it actually ends up being to the Adidas shoe because from what I can tell, this is almost an exact replica. So here we go, going for the final. She did send through five images and uh, let's check them out. That is exactly the Adidas shoe that I was thinking of. <laughs> no part of my shoe is in this. Um, the rendering quality is nice though. Uh, it looks like she did a lot of it in maybe Illustrator, probably Photoshop. It looks exactly like that Adidas shoe. Let me look it up. I think it's the, uh, the EQT basketball. <laughs> it's exactly the shoe. She traced the uh, Adidas EQT basketball ADV collegiate navy real coral. Um, I mean, exactly. It is, I mean, okay, she took out the three stripes on the midsole. But uh, other than that, it is exactly the same. Um, that's kind of disappointing. I'm kind of bummed out by that because I do like her rendering. I actually want to pull a catfish right now and actually screenshot this and drop this into Google Images and see what comes up. I want to see if she actually even did the art. It's amazing how dropping that in, even Google knew exactly what shoe it was. <laughs> um, let's just go through straight images and see, uh, see if there's anything like art maybe. Okay, so at least it looks like she actually did the art, which is good. Um, it does kind of suck that she like ripped it straight off of an actual shoe. And if I was someone who was actually trying to get this sneaker produced, which I don't know why you would ever uh, go to Fiverr to have someone design your shoe, but if I was, um, I would be in for a rude awakening in the form of Adidas sending me a cease and desist or suing me. I like the art style. I think it's nice. I like some of the colors she chose, but uh, she did directly rip off an Adidas sneaker. So that's too bad. I mean, for how much did I pay for it? Uh, 32 bucks after fees, not the worst. Got some nice art for 32 bucks, so can't be mad at that. So now that we've got two out of the way, let's go to number three. And number three I'm actually really excited about because this is the one that I paid the most for. I paid $63 after fees. It's the one that's called Help You Design Your Dream Sneakers Concept. And the art that he shows on his profile for this shoe or for the shoes that he's designed is amazing. Like this is top quality, pro quality art. So I'm expecting a lot. Um, I haven't looked at this guy yet, but why don't we take a look at what we have. Um, it's not exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> the rendering of the previous one, although being a total ripoff, was nicer than the rendering of this uh, piece of art here. Now the shoe design itself is not bad. Um, it definitely has sort of a Versace vibe to it and that's not a bad thing. Uh, it looks like a designer shoe. It doesn't really exactly look like a basketball shoe, which is what I asked for. But at the end of the day, I can't be too mad about it. It is still fiber. Some of his shading is, is kind of nice, like the shading around the ankle right here. That's a nice little bit of highlight he's getting. I'm not sure if that's exactly where the highlight would be but it is there. And because of the way he shaded the midsole, it does kind of look like the midsole is doing one of these, which I've never seen a midsole do before. But you know, it is unique, it is different. I don't love the colorway, this sort of like olive green, gray, black, Versace chain looking shoe. The concept overall though, um, isn't bad. The only thing that actually resembles my shoe that I sent him is, I guess, the basic overall shape of it. The tip of the sneaker is very, very sharp, which to be fair, when sneaker designers draw shoes, they usually try and draw them really quickly and have a very specific style to them, which this, I guess, is somewhat reminiscent of. I, I think the proportions are a little off. The back looks huge compared to the front. Um, the midsole is insanely chunky. So your foot's probably resting like, so if this is the midsole, your foot's probably resting like up here. So it's maybe a platform shoe. Um, for 60 bucks, 
I'm a little disappointed. This was the guy who had by far the best art out of anyone that I bought from, and that's why I spent the most money on him. It just seems like he took art from online and just threw it on his page, which is really a bummer. I kind of want to do the same thing that I did with uh, that girl's sneaker image and drag these images onto Google Images and see um, where they're from. Because honestly, it's kind of lame if he's actually jacking people's art and using it to promote his own art. Um, he might not be. It's possible that he just like did that sketch in like three minutes. But uh, let's see. Okay, so it's coming up on Google. Oh man, it's not his sketch. Uh, I'm not even gonna worry about checking the other sketches because the style of each sketch, now that I'm looking back on it, was so different. There's just no way he did any of it, um, which is really a bummer. There it is, there it is exactly. Uh, from Larry Selbiger, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, the Tiva Women's Lifty. And I know for a fact the guy that I bought the art from, uh, his name was not Larry. So straight up jacked, that's unfortunate. Also, I'm kind of bummed that I gave 60 bucks to this guy because that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. So now moving on to the next project, which is rubbish in my sneakers. I'm not going to lie. I was so interested as to what this could possibly be that uh, when he sent me the images less than an hour after I bought it, which is crazy. I mean, I guess when you see it, you'll realize it's not that crazy. <laughs> but uh, I just had to open it and uh, see what the deal was. So I'm going to show you guys not only what he did, uh, but also some of the messages that we had back and forth because Kinda nuts. 30 minutes after I ordered the project, he said, good day, we'll do it tomorrow with the shoes that I wear. We'll kick them upside down in dirt. And I don't remember exactly what I said to that, um, but I'm sure I said something like, great, awesome. Then he sent me this image of his dirty Nike Air Maxes. And I was um, intrigued and also somewhat disappointed because it looks like they were already pretty dirty. So I was wondering like, how much dirtier could he have made them? And then he sent another message a little bit later and he said, there was no trash tot day for my Nikes. So, um, so this dude got $7 from me after fees for taking a picture of his dirty shoes that he didn't even throw upside down in dirt. So a little disappointed. His last message leads me to believe that sometimes he throws the shoes in trash, which I would have loved. That would have, I would have tipped him for that. Not really even any dirt, just a very, very blurry, <laughs> very blurry picture of this dude's dirty shoes. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so on to the last one. Uh, based on the first four, my expectations are pretty, pretty low. Um, I'm really hoping something good comes out of this because I think at the end of the day, I spent like, I don't know, 150, 156 bucks on it, something like that. Um, so let's go to the last one. It cost me $22 after fees and it's called Make Shoe Designs For You. This is actually the one that I sent the screenshot logo for. So hopefully my Ben Doge logo will show up on this shoe somewhere. That's the hope. Wow. I'm really impressed with this one. He did an excellent job. This is like an actual tech pack. Whoa, he even specked out the loop, the laces, the upper, the tongue. Oh my goodness, he threw the logo on the tongue. Good for him. Wow, that's awesome. I bet he was like, what the hell is this? This guy doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he even has a TPU welded eye stay. Red section welding, no sewing. Heel deco, PU flat. Green section, transparent screen. The midsole and outsole does look like it's actually taken from uh, a Jordan basketball sneaker, which is fine. I think the images on his page had a midsole that had been taken from another shoe, so I really can't fault him for that. Plus, I mean, honestly, it makes this look super professional. Um, I love it. This guy killed it. You've even got my logo up there at the top for 22 bucks. This dude did all this for 22 bucks. That's seriously impressive. Now, if I just had like a top view and maybe a back view, I would be comfortable sending this to a factory. I mean, they would definitely take some liberties and the shoe would probably not turn out as well as this one did. Um, and they'd probably ask questions about the, the midsole and outsole um, construction and molding and things like that. But for $22, this is a really, really, really impressive job. I'm blown away. If I had to be an ass and find one thing that I didn't like about this shoe, it would only be the colorways. Um, they're not my favorite. He even pantoned them out, no way. Oh, I can't even be mad about that. This is better than I could have ever expected. I'm thoroughly impressed by that. That's amazing work. I'm, I'm blown away. What a way to end it. I didn't expect that to be as good as it was. I actually didn't even plan for it to be last. It was actually just the last order that I bought, so that's the order I went in. 
I'm blown away. Um, let me know in the comment section down below which one you guys like the best. Obviously for me, it was the last one. I will make shoe designs for you. And he absolutely did, he killed it. So thank you, Cowl. But let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this video and whether you'd wanna see something like this again in the future because if I get enough people really enjoying this, I'll do it again. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I do sneaker videos and design videos almost every single day of the week, so there's always gonna be content for you. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.